Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, this is my political announcement for today. I'm throwing three in one. <laughs> so uh, if you haven't heard already, um, President Trump and his wife, Melania, have tested positive for COVID. I have three videos here lined up. Uh, let's see. The first one is from CBS. And they, it came out October 1st. Trump and First Lady Melania Trump test positive for COVID-19. All right, this, this says President, now listen to this. President Trump and First Lady Melania Trump tested positive for the coronavirus. The president tweeted early Friday. I guess he could have held on to the news for a day. Isn't that the kind of thing he'd like to tweet out right away? It just struck me, you know, as, um, why did he wait? I thought they got their, their days <laughs> mixed up, but it just dawned on me that he just waited a day to tweet it. That's probably what happened. CBS News White House correspondent Wei Jiang Jing joins CBS in Los Angeles to discuss the latest from the White House. I will put a link for that in the description box. The channel is CBS News. The title again, Trump and First Lady Melania Trump test positive for COVID-19. Now, the next one is called, uh, let's see, let me pull it down a little bit. Trump, quote, at risk for bad outcome, unquote, after testing positive for COVID-19. And this is NBC News. That's all in the title. And it's on channel. NBC News. All right. Oh, what was so interesting is that there were 888 thumbs down on the last video I told you about from CBS News. I thought, that's interesting. 3.6 thousand thumbs up, 888 thumbs down. Why would you thumbs down a report that they're positive for COVID? You know, my very first thought was, yeah, right. They're telling people this. Now they're going into hiding. Okay, that's just my thought, okay? They're not going to tell you that, are they? Trump announces he's tested positive for COVID-19. Now, this young kind of, sort of, good-looking doctor, has been on NBC News several times, and he's saying that Trump has a chance of a bad outcome because he's old, he's a senior citizen, he says he's the oldest president we've ever had in office. I, if anybody wants to take that on, he sure doesn't look it, but it's possible that he's the oldest. He doesn't look it to me. Oh, and his other factor is that he's obese. Yes, he said it. Our president is obese. Now, I'm not a Trump supporter. I don't support Biden. I don't support Trump. Sorry. I know who Trump is. I know who Biden is. They both work for Satan. And they're both just playing their parts and reading their lines. They're playing a script and a play. You can believe it or not. Still, it's kind of funny that they have to carry on as they do. So all the little pawns in America will keep on doing their jobs and having hope 
for a greater America. Somebody said MAGA, Make America Great Again, supposedly M-A-G-A stood for something like the 55th degree Freemason. I wonder if I looked that up, if it would come up. Let's try it. Just for the fun of it. Okay, shall we? Google. Probably Google won't work. Let me go to DuckDuckGo. DuckDuckGo. All right. All right, search. All right. Does M-A-G-A have anything to do with free masonry question mark Let's see nine things you didn't know It says, oh, now we're Freemasonry is not a religion. You think of religion as ritual. Oh, forget it. Uh, I didn't ask the question right. Does M A G A mean see that's the kind of thing you you probably won't find just on a simple search Thirty three beginning and end. Okay, they're talking about thirty third, thirty second. I didn't think so. Thirty third demonic Freemasonry, an organization within an organization, another thirty third degree Freemason. Um See, think if they were going to just tell it online, it would be, okay, let's just totally forget that subject. Let's go to the third one. I'll put that in the description box. You can look at all these if you hadn't seen it. But I'm just telling you, Trump is at risk for a bad outcome after testing positive for COVID-19. That's the title slash up and down slash. Can you even type that? NBC News. Oh, all right. I have to take my meds. All right. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> okay now this one has says that um, let me back it up and play a bit this is what channel October 2nd also this is Dabu this is Dabu 7 we have word that Donald Trump and Melania Trump both have tested positive for COVID-19 since this information has been broken the futures markets have just dumped out completely. The stock markets hit, but it looks like some may be rebounding right now. It looks like Bitcoin also took a hit as well. And it looks like they have scrambled in E6B Mercury. This is a doomsday plane. They've got it off the East Coast. And... Earlier they were talking about this, saying that they expect... Yeah, he's got a map here showing 
where the plane is at, circling around, in case anybody thinks they're going to attack the White House while they're in, uh, um, what's that word? Uh, quarantine. Okay. Expected it to pop up if he tests positive, just to try to show any adversaries out there that now is not the time for you to try to do anything. So, we do have this doomsday plane in the air over D.C., over the East Coast, at the same time as this announcement. So, they have stated that they are doing good, that they feel good. This is what Melania had tweeted out. So they're going to get through it together. Trump had tweeted out, as he always does, some crazy stuff. The, even the image of him in the casket on The Simpsons. But they act like they feel fine, and they're going to get through this. So I put out a poll on Twitter asking, is Trump going to make it through this? Yes, no, fake news, false positive. You be the judge. I'll update with more as I come across it. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for breaking news, as well as D Live for live streams. You're only going to find over here on D Live Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern. You'll find links below. Okay, that's enough advertising. Dabu is made quite a name for himself. He does. Uh, he must just spend all the time he can looking for for stories to tell us news, real news. Hopefully, not fake news. Do, what do you think? Leave your comments below in the comments and let me know if you think this is fake news. Are they going to hide out in their deep underground military base uh, bunker? Or do you think they're really sick? Doesn't really matter what we think. What matters is the truth. And the one we know knows exactly what's going on. And as Psalm 2 says, He who sits in heaven laughs at their plans. Because his plans are greater than their plans, whatever they got planned. Okay? Alright, so once again, the title of this one is Trump has COVID, comma, doomsday plane flying over East Coast, comma, stock futures dump out hard. So, isn't that something? You think that the president is sick and the futures dump out hard. Uh, people just kill me. These people with money. Why don't they just leave it sit there? And, and if so it loses some for a while, then it'll gain it back after a while. Isn't that how it works? If I own stock in a company... Like my aunt, she owned, she did own until she passed away. I don't know who inherited it. Pro probably sold and divided between the few living siblings. My mom was one of them. Anyway, she had stock in, we, we were all from Akron. Okay, so my uncle had invested a few share in a few shares of stock in a bank. And they moved to Louisiana, and he kept his shares, and he kept them through everything. He kept those shares. He did nothing with them. Some months, they got a little bit of money. Some Every three months, they got a check. Some months, it would be a bigger amount of money. So why don't people just leave their stocks alone and, and just take what they get? Somebody explain the stock market to me because I just can't read it and understand it. I really don't care, to be honest. I really don't care. Okay, so I'm ending this here. Y'all have a blessed day in the Lord, and I'll talk to you later.